Hello everyone, this is Gagan Singh, your biology teacher and today we are going to learn about class 10th biology unit 1 which talks about the basic biology how cell divides and how division takes place. But before we have to also know that what is a cell. Many of us might be wondering about in day to day life when we see things we see biology everywhere. And before we get into cell division let's talk about what is a cell. We know that cell it comes from a Latin word cella which means small room and it is the smallest unit of a living organism and it is the basic structural functional and biological unit of life and cell in fact it is the smallest unit that we have plants have and everybody else cells are often called the building blocks of life the study of cell is known as cell biology so what do we know that cell is the smallest unit and it is also called the building blocks of life. In cellular biology or cytology we study this in cell biology and cell consists of cytoplasm enclosed within a membrane which contains many biomolecules such as proteins and nucleic acids and these cells do various tasks in everyday lives in our own system. Most plant and animals cells are only visible under a microscope and they range between the dimension of 1 and 100 micrometers and if you're wondering what is a micrometer if you look at the tip of the pen it is 10 times smaller than this or maybe 100 times and 1 micrometer is the thousandth part of a millimeter. Organism can be classified as unicellular which consists of single cells such as bacteria or multicellular including all plants and animals. Most unicellular organisms are classed as microorganism and when we look at a typical cell we see so many cell organelles and the number of cells in plants and animals varies from species to species it has been estimated that humans contain somewhere around 40 trillion cells and a human brain accounts for around 80 billion of these cells and just imagine something which goes from trillions and billions you can't even imagine how many number of these cells are in our body and first thing that you should know about cell is that in 1839 Matthias Jacob and Sheldon Theodore Schwann stated that all organisms are composed of one or more cells. So in 1839 and before that people were wondering that what is a cell before it was even discovered and cells were discovered by none other than Robert Hooke R-O-B-E-R-T-H-O O K E Robert Hooke in 1665 who named them for their resemblance to class cells inhabited by Christian monks in a monastery so we know that the fundamental unit of a life is a cell and before we get into another session which will talk about how cell divides we should know about the basic concept of cell and how cells function. We should also be able to determine between an animal cell and plant cell. 
and we will talk about that in our later videos. Thank you, have a good day. This is your teacher, Gagan Singh.